Hello, it's Alex from Spring Signage, and in this video, we're going to start some basic Zebo training. Uh, so, first thing we're going to do is just very quickly describe the two main components of uh, an Xebo system. Uh, so, firstly, there's the CMS or Content Management System, and that's the web based console uh, which you design all your content in and schedule it to be shown on your screens. Um, the CMS you can run yourself on your own hardware or you can uh, use one of several companies, uh, Spring Signage being one, to host your content uh, on one of our servers for you, or as we term it, Zebo in the cloud. Uh, so this is a cloud instance that we're using for training today. Uh, if you don't have access to a Zebo CMS at the moment, you can go and get a free demo account from Spring Signage or one of the other companies that provide hosting for uh, Zebo instances will also be able to help you out with that, I'm sure. The second component of uh, an Xebo system is the player application uh, and that's a piece of software that runs either on an Android device or on a Windows computer and that attaches directly to the back of the uh, display screens that you're using and its job is to show uh, the content that you've designed within the Xebo CMS uh, on the schedules that you've defined. So we just have a very quick look at the CMS that we're looking at now. Uh, we can see here on the left hand side we've got the uh, menus. Um, these obviously relate to various parts of the CMS software. Uh, we're going to be looking at layouts today, so the one we're mainly concerned with will be under the design menu layouts. So if I click on that, that will bring up a list of all the layouts that are currently in this CMS. Now, as this is a brand new CMS, there's only one layout in there called default layout and that's the one that ships with Zebo itself. Um, your hosting provider may put other layouts in there for you or if you're using an existing Zebo CMS you will have other layouts other people have created in there already. Um, at the end of each line in this grid um, is a menu and if we click on the little down arrow uh, we can see all the things that we can do with this layout. Um, if there were multiple lines, so if we had more than one layout, and we'll come back and see this in a minute, uh, then we would click on the one that corresponds to the one we want to edit. So we'll have a very quick look at the default layout that ships with Zebo first. So if we pull down this little menu and click design, uh, we'll open up the layout designer for the default layout. Um, so we can see the default layout is a simple black screen uh, with some text at the top here and the time as a little clock in the bottom right hand corner. Um, the grey shading here shows regions. Uh, regions within Zebo are transparent containers that hold your content. So in this case it's holding some text at the top here and a clock in the bottom right hand corner. Now if I preview this layout you'll see that the regions are indeed transparent and we just see the text and the clock that we had in, in put on the design. Uh, so if we go back to the list of layouts, we're going to add our first layout. Um, so at the top right hand side here, we just click on the Add Layout button. There's lots of options on the Add Layout dialog. Um, I'm just going to cover the ones that we're interested in right now. So the first one is the name. It's just an internal name uh, that this layout will show up within the CMS. Uh, you can call it what you like. It won't um, be shown on the display when when it's when the layout runs so um, you can call it whatever the layout means to you I'm just going to call this one hello world and the content we designed today is going to be for a standard HD television so 1080p HD landscape is the correct resolution to choose for that uh, so we we'll just click save and we can see we've been taken straight into the layout designer for our new layout. However, what I'm going to do is just quickly pop back to the main layout screen, only so that you can now see that there's more than one layout in the system. And if we want to edit the Hello World one again, we would click on the menu that's, that's on the same line as the Hello World layout. Also, just to show you at the top here, there's a button that says Filter. Um, if you click on filter you can search this, so if I search for hello and then press enter you can see that it just brings up layouts that have hello in the name of them. Uh, you might find that useful once you've got more uh, layouts in the system. So 
we'll click on design for our hello world layout and that takes us back to the layout designer so the layout uh, is empty and the system automatically puts a single full screen region in for us so if you remember the region is a transparent container that will hold our content um, if we have a, just a quick look around the screen as well you can see we have an options menu at the top here and then there's a little black cross here uh, this is important if you hang over the little black cross you'll see it says this layout is invalid and should not be scheduled what that means is that the CMS has ascertained that this layout won't play properly if you send it to a player as it stands now so there's two main reasons that a layout might be considered invalid the first is that it has no regions so this layout that we've got here definitely has one region on it uh, but it could be that one or more of the regions on the layout have no content so what you need to ensure is that all the regions on your layout have content in or at least one item of content in and that you have at least one region so if we have a look at the region we have on the layout you can see it's empty and it says so at the bottom here um, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner there's a little handle here if we click on that and drag we can resize the region however large we want to make it and then when we let go uh, it will stay that size if we want to move it we click in the middle of it and then we can drop it wherever we want finally we need to come up to here where it says save position and click if we don't save the position once we've moved it then the, the move of that region isn't saved so if you accidentally move something and you didn't mean to move it you can simply click undo and it will go back to the last position before you saved it so now we need to put some content into this region uh, so there's two ways we can get into the region timeline the first is to click on this top menu here and click edit timeline or alternatively we can simply double click on the region this is the region timeline dialog and this is the section of the CMS we use to put content into that empty region that we've had created on the layout uh, so for this one we're just going to select text but you can see there's a wide variety of other other uh, media types we could use we're just going to use text in this first example so you can see we've been dropped into a text editor uh, and I'm just going to enter some very basic hello world text and we can highlight that in there and just like you would in an office suite we can choose what size we want the text to be what font we want what color we want the text to be um, I'm gonna leave it white actually um, but you can you can choose make it bold italic underline and so on then we need to move to the options tab and enter a duration now durations are one of the more complicated things to understand within the Zebo system um, so I'm not going to attempt to cover them in this first lesson but we will cover them in much more detail later on for now think of the duration simply as the minimum minimum amount of time that that content will remain on the screen when the layout shows so we know that when we run this layout that text will stay on the screen for at least 10 seconds and then we click save we then drop back to the region timeline and if we wanted to put another text item in that in that region we can but for now we're going to close and so now we're back at the layout designer and we can see that our hello world text has been added to the region um, and if we click at the top here and preview layout we can see when we run the layout that our hello world text is there and so this gives us a fairly good idea of what the layout will look like on a, on a real player and you can see after 10 seconds we get the message play again if we want to play the layout again and see it again we can we just click play again and it will run again these red lines to the left and right here show the extremes of the screen so if this was a, a television we were rendering this on uh, the area around here so from here to here to the bottom and across is the actual screen that we have to play with so if we go back to the layout designer you can see at the top here that that cross that was there before has now changed to a tick and if we hang over it it says this layout is ready to play so that means that as far as the CMS is able to ascertain this layout should run properly if we push it to a player um, we can see we've got one region and we've got at least one item in the region so it's valid so that's it we've created our very first uh, Zebo layout 
uh, we're going to leave that there for today um, but in the next video we'll be creating something that looks a bit more pretty using some images and some custom fonts so join me again for that